YouTube's this alternative review and welcome back to another video. Today I will be reviewing the f new or an older EP by um, the band Unlikely Candidates called Follow My Feet. I'm really excited. I love the song Follow My Feet, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. First first track, Follow My Feet. There's a fork in the road in front of me At the crossroads of identity Alright, wait a second. I need... It's set up weird. The page is set up weird. I'm going to... Playlists... Follow my feet. I guess how the live version of how is just a part of this, because that's what they have it as, so. There's a fork in the road in front of me. At the crossroads of identity. The devil is standing. This is like one of my favorite songs of all time. He says you will be both lead to death. Easily one of my favorite songs of all time. The lyrics are so meaningful, too. He, he, he's basically saying he'll just do whatever. He'll do. He'll just follow whatever happens to him. I'm gonna turn this down a bit, so you might actually hear me a bit better if it's too loud. Oh, jeez. I'm telling you guys right now. This is the only song off this I've heard, I believe. I love this line. Is it a life of love for a need? Or just if I did it, nobody will. I love that line. That, that line's just amazing. That is true. If one person who wants to help doesn't help, nobody else will. Somebody has to help for other people to follow the example. This song's getting an 100 out of 100. Screw it. That's the best score I've ever given anything. But it deserves it. It 100% deserves it. The acoustics are amazing. His vocals are amazing. This is like a rich man Imagine Dragons, basically. Yep, that's getting a 100 out of 100. Next track is How. This is a live version for some reason, but... Or it says it is, it might not actually be. This is rem reminding me of the score. That bass. This got to six on the alternative airplay charts, and I never heard it on the radio. Yeah, I don't think this is an actual live version. I think it's just titled wrong. Oops, sorry. I'm doing this video today because they're doing a concert today online that I sadly didn't go to.
definitely don't like this as much as the first track. And that first track's hard to beat. It's hard to follow up to. But this song is still catchy. You can sing it, like, I can already sing it. I can already sing that chorus. That's a good thing. Their lyricism reminds me of 21 Pilots. They're not as story driven as a band, but they copy similar topics. And that's just their lyricism. And the way he says things. His vocals, however, have like the grit of like Nickelback of Chad Kruger. But he's also got the smoothness and range of like Patrick Stump of Fallout Boy. And their drummer is amazing too. Their writing is also really good. They don't try to dumb down, numb down the rest of the band or just forget about the band. Every you can hear every single person's part of writing every song. When it all goes through, I'll see you again. That's a good track. Um, I'm gonna have to give it an 88 out of 100 though, because it doesn't compare anywhere to fall on my feet. 88 out of 100 is still an extremely high score. Quality writing makes your and at, better. of course. Meet Grammarly. Nobody get Grammarly. Ooh. What's this? Just Breathe. This song is Just Breathe. These songs move so fast, I just don't want them to stop. Even though nothing's been below two and a half minutes. Ooh. I have no memories, just fingers, feelings lingering. This came out 2016. This, this sound still holds up today. That's how far ahead they were. Cause this sounds more like today's rock, like the thing, like, it basically sounds like kind of, I don't know how to explain it. I have a heart to heart with somebody at the bar. He's drunk and just talking to people. I like his really fast, like how he can say words really fast, but you can hear them perfectly. And he keeps that grit to his voice too when he says them fast. I'm having so much fun listening to this. This is a great change after that uh, last EP I reviewed. Um, uh, yeah, Wallows. I I literally unsubscribed from Wallows. I don't know if I'll ever review them again. I didn't get very many views off of it either, so. Tell me what did it prove? A little man can really do. I bet the now gravity just seems.
That drum in the background, you can tell it's not electronic, but it's got that rap kind of feel, that trap drum kind of feel. Why can't this be what rock is now? I mean, nothing nowhere is good, but I wish he was making this stuff. I mean, I can't wait for the Unlikely Candidates album this year. I heard Novocaine on the radio, and I immediately went and listened to all, like, a lot of their other songs. I listened to Follow My Feet. I listened to their whole Danger to Myself EP, Your Love Could Start a War. I loved it all. And then I haven't listened to Follow My Feet EP or Bed of Liars EP, but Bed of Liars will be next. Probably tomorrow. This song, it has a great meaning, it's got a great feel, it just it feels a lot like the first track to me, just longer, it's at four minutes almost, but I'm making that track, I'm giving it 90 out of 100, this track is called Home, oh that guitar in the background, the ukulele, this this is the part where you could tell there's some inspirations. They either have the same inspirations as 21 Pilots or they're taking inspiration for 21 Pilots. Seeing that this is early 2016, I'm gonna guess they were taking inspiration from the same people as 21 Pilots. I wish I had the CP, but it's like $400, $500 to get on CD, and it's, dude, I love this, I've loved every song on the CP so far, like, to put this into perspective, uh, let me try to find, I love nothing nowhere, right, think about what I gave that. EP. Trauma Factor. I gave it a 90. I gave it a 93 out of 100. And the lowest rated track on it was a 75. This, the lowest track, I, I loved Trauma Factory. I absolutely loved it. It's probably one of my favorite albums out of all time. And like I said, it, my least favorite song was 75 out of 100. This album, I, it hasn't dropped below 85 yet. And it's not going to on this song. Ooh. That's a cool line. Sell every shade of each other's tone. I, I will be reacting to their new album once it comes out. I don't know when it's coming out yet, though. I really wish I owned the CP. Someday we will be home. I've got, I was silent there because I just had chills. Just, my whole body was goosebumps. I couldn't move. Those lyrics just hit me so hard. Ooh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've had to say terrible things on the last review. I cussed 
wallows out in the last two games. This is an amazing change of pace. I knew doing this would get me back into reacting because I did not want to react after the last EP. And that could be part of my enjoyment from this EP. That could be that could be all of my enjoyment from this EP. I'm just cranking these songs as loud as I can right now to where you can still hear me when I'm cranking them. Because these are what rock should be. This is what rock should have evolved to after that indie phase of the early 2010s. That song is getting another... That song's getting 89 out of 100. Last song, Trampoline. Plus, even Follow My Feet, which is on the poppier side of things, still has the insane rock vibe. Ooh. Everybody's pr busy pretending who they're not. I believe that's what we say. I'm commenting on this video. Ooh, this has, after the last few songs, this has a more upbeat. Like, it's almost just like a relief from everything else. The intensity of every other track on this album. And it might follow that rock formula I talk about in almost every video, where almost every rock song is some form of... Just those claps. But it's... Ooh. Yeah, right here, they said they love Pink Disco. So... I love this. Oh my god. I'm, I'm still got goosebumps. I'm getting goosebumps from this song, too. Here's what I'm commenting on this song. I'm listening to this EP for a reaction. These are some of the best rock songs. I have heard from the 2010s. I just want to dance in the boring rain. <laughs> I'm assuming it's not a storm then. Up or down. Ooh. I want to be cured. I want to be cured. I'm trying to listen to this music. Or, but I'm trying. I'm really trying to listen to his lyrics. His vocals combined with the guitar and just the instrumental is so distracting from that though but overall trampoline i'm giving that 90 out of 100 so overall this ep i'm gonna average it probably yeah it's saying that about 90 i'm i'm giving this ep a 98 out of 100 screw it this is the best thing i reacted to on this channel this is one of the best eps I've ever heard it actually may yeah maybe with the uh, exception of danger to myself EP which I'll react to that too even though I've already heard it if people want it yeah um, all the instrumentals are good the lyrics were all solid the vocals are amazing what's not to love about this band everybody 
who watches this video, if you haven't listened to this band before, go listen to every single track of theirs. Because this EP, everything I've ever heard from them has been amazing. I love this band. They're probably my favorite band of all time at this point. And that's saying a lot because, I mean, I love Fall Out Boy. I love Panic. I love, I even imagine Dragons. And this sounds kind of like a mixture of all of those bands. 21 Pilots. It's such solid. Yeah, just go listen to it. Then. Um, I've actually talked to one of the guys on Instagram before. And he was really nice. In their uh, DMs. So yeah, just go listen to them. Spotify. Stream them on Spotify, YouTube, whatever. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Um, yeah, so that's, that's 90 out of 8 out of 100. I'm almost, I really can't say a lot more about this album, because everything was just so good. And usually when I have a lot to say, it's when things are terrible. Like, Nails for Breakfast, Tax for Snacks by Pank Disco, or The Wallows. The, yeah, this is an amazing change of pace. Just nice 2010s, what rock should be in the 2020s. Yeah. This has been Alternative Review. Goodbye, everybody. Have a nice. I hope you have a nice day. See you next time.